Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishwash. I welcome you all in my channel Tanmay Care. Today's topic or discussion is one MCQ and the question is in front of you. What is the correct order of acidity? You can see three options are provided. I request you students, please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box around a few words as explanation. I believe you have tried, so let's start. Now, what is asked? Acidity means proton release. So, this proton, this proton and this proton comparison. You can ask why not this proton because student the stability of the conjugate base very soon you will understand. So now simple thing so if I am removing proton so whatever negative charge is remaining that's called conjugate base. So its stability is the deciding factor and remember one thing more the stability of the, con of the conjugate base higher is the acidity. So if you remove these three protons this pink protons what is the part? Here it is actually carbon ion and this is actually conjugate base. Now generally we have studied that carbon ion is not that much stable because carbon is carrying negative charge although it is not a highly electronegative atom. But here the story is different. All these three carbon ions are aromatic because of Huckel rule. By the way if you have any doubt in Huckel rules of aromaticity click on the i button and you will get the video. Now, it is according to Huckel rule, it is aromatic. Means here, 4n plus 2 number of pi electron rule, if you apply, for n value is actually 1. So, 6 pi electron. Now, your question may be, sir, how 6 pi electron? So, look at here. So, here negative charge means 2 electron. This double bond, 2 electron. This double bond, 2 electron. And this negative charge means 2 electrons in the p orbital. So, they are cyclic, planar conjugated and 4n plus 2 number of pi electrons are there so they are aromatic now if i say aromatic means i can draw a resonance in this way the carbon ion is delocalized and we know that delocalization means stabilization so you can clearly conclude sir this is stabilized so negative sorry negative double bond here here proton is here and negative charge is here so obviously there was one proton previously so that proton should be there now, I told one thing that why can't we remove this proton? If you remove this proton, whatever carbon ion will be produced, it is actually student not in conjugation because this negative charge is in sp2 hybridized orbital which is out of perpendicular plane with respect to this pi conjugation. So, not that much stable. So, it will not be released. Now, if I look at the next one, so you can see here. So, in this case, it is also aromatic and resonance works. So, it will go, it will open. So, the carbon ions canonical form should look like this. This is the negative charge which is attached to this fluorine. So, four fluorines are still intact. By the way, if you look at here, many other canonical form possible are not going. Now, simple thing, look at. So, it is here this fluorine has three lone pairs of electron and here this is carbon ion means one pair of electron so consequently what happened this carbon ion these lone pair of this pair of electron and these lone pair they have a repulsion so you can say lone pair lone pair repulsion creates some amount of destabilization i am not talking that okay this fluorine uh, will destabilize the carbon ion so this tetrafluoroderivative will be less acidic compared to this one no i'm not saying that truth is that this tetrafluoroderivative is uh, more acidic compared to this cyclopentadienyl derivative why because fluorine has stronger minus ie effect than its this resonance okay so that's why it's sigma withdrawing strongly because fluorine is the most electronegative element so that's why it has stability but i'm talking about one of the point about its lesser stability or unstability and this is addressed in the next example if you look at here so if you remove this proton the carbon ion here now if i draw the resonance so it will push it will go there so the canonical form is expected to look like this way so whatever proton is there this is and 4 cf3 now negative charge is here and here CF3 shows minus I only, no repulsion, lone pair, lone pair repulsion exists here. So, the, that's why this CF3 stabilizes the carbon ion more compared to the fluoride. 
although you can ask sir this is a carbon carbon bond how it can stabilize the carbon on that much efficiently student that's true if i give you a real data the withdrawing capability or minus i effect of cf3 is just lesser than fluoride and higher than chloride so from there you can understand that it is a very strong sigma withdrawing by the way i have already uploaded few lectures on this also you may visit it's a very interesting part as well as important now so you'll i think still you don't believe me let me give you the proof experimental proof pk value rule is that higher the pka lesser acidity so here cyclopentadienyl pka 16 tetrafluoroderivative 14 so i can say this one is more acidic but look at the value minus 2 significantly stronger so among these three this is the most acidic now you can understand that this repulsion lone pair lone pair repulsion how much important it is and in this case that is absent but this sigma withdrawing works so pk value is so lesser okay now another thing compared to other ch bond if i say it's saturated analog if you look at this this is not that much student strongly acidic because it's a sp3 and the produced carbon ion doesn't have enough stability here the carbon ion is attached to sp2 carbon but most importantly carbon ion is aromatic means delocalized means stabilized so that's why in this case a significant amount of acidity is observed and remember these acidity students similar like inorganic acids so it's a very strong acidic and so what is the answer answer order will be three greater than two greater than one three so option c now if you don't know the exact thing but you know little information how can you come up to the right answer using process of elimination now from this one thing is clear that this cf3 has show minus i effect means it's it is also electron withdrawing group and this fluorine also electron withdrawing group so they will stabilize the carbon ion more compared to this because although there is delocalization of the carbon ion because of aromaticity but still it is an extra charge anionic species so that is associated with slight amount of unstability so that could be encountered by the introduction of electron withdrawing group so your answer will be sir option a will be least acidic agree so which option so option b and option c so if you see option a and option b it is gone so this is called as process of elimination this is very helpful solving mcq learn this art now second thing so this we understand here two is maximum acidic or three is maximum acidic for that purpose student one information you should remember the electron withdrawing capability of this cf3 this cf3 is actually very strong electron withdrawing so it's withdrawing cap or minus i effect is second with respect to flow just remember this it's not and this fluorine slone pair lone pair repulsion so that will be option c i know sometime it is not possible to recall everything during the exam time but if you follow this trick it will help you a lot so this is the end of the discussion thanks for watching see you in my next video bye bye